Hello, this time we are going to create a simple fireworks example using Niagara. First, create a material. To create the base glow material, first, create a texture sample and set glow texture. To make it possible to change the color of the glow texture in the Niagara system, create particle color and multiply it with the glow texture. Then, set the blend mode as additive, which takes the pixels of the material and adds them to the pixels in the background to render the black only transparent. The shading model is changed to unit, which only outputs emissive for color for special effects, such as fire or luminous objects. Then connect each multiply node to emissive color and opacity. Now, let's create a Niagara system. Press Sprite Render and put the glow material you created. To generate particles at once, create a Spawn Burst Instantaneous in Emitter Update. Spawn Count is set to 1. Create Add Velocity to make the particle go up. At this time, a warning message will appear, which will disappear if you create Solve Forces and Velocity. Go back to Add Velocity and change the Velocity Mode to in Cone to make the fireworks fly in an inverted triangle shape. And in order to go up to the sky at a random speed, change the Velocity Speed to Random Range Float and input the desired value. To make the fireworks effect go up in the Z direction, only change the Z value of the cone axis to 1. After that, adjust the cone angle value to adjust the extent to which the fireworks spread. To give resistance to movement of the fireworks, create a drag and enter the desired value. Create a generate location event to create a tail that follows the location of this emitter. Check requires persistent IDs to allow other emitters to search for empty emitters. To make a particle with an elongated shape, change the sprite size mode to non-uniform in initialize particle and change the value to be larger than X. To make the fireworks disappear randomly, change the lifetime mode to random and enter the desired value. To add a color to the fireworks, change the color mode to direct set and add the color. Change the alignment to velocity align in the sprite renderer so that the fireworks go out in a straight line according to the speed direction. Now copy the emitter to create a particle that follows the fireworks. Delete unnecessary parts such as videos. To create a particle that follows the empty particle, press plus stage to create an event handler. And in source, click on empty's location event and enter the spawn number as 10 for the number of following particles. Create a receive. Location event to follow the empty emitter's location. Then change the velocity to apply and enter the negative value to extend the fireworks in the opposite direction to the direction of fireworks. Creates a curl noise force for the particles to vibrate movement. Noise strength refers to the amount of movement noise. To make the particles that follow randomly disappear, change the lifetime mode to random enter the desired value, and change the sprite size to the desired value. To follow the color of the main fireworks, change the color mode to unset and change the color to apply in the receive location event. And to follow spawn particles in the empty emitter, change the execution mode to spawn particles in event handler properties. After that, you can check the particles that follow under the main particle. Now copy the empty 001 emitter for fireworks explosion effects. To make the fireworks explode in all directions, create Add Velocity and change the Velocity Mode to From Point. And to explode at a random speed, change the Velocity Speed to Random Range Float and set the desired value. And to kill particles sequentially, 
create a generate death event in the empty emitter and change the source of event handler properties of empty 0, 0 to emitter to death event. Then, input the value that comes out when it explodes as much as you want. Now, in the receive location event, change the velocity value back to the default value of output. After that, in initialize particle, input the desired values for sprite size and lifetime. Then, create drag and gravity force and input the desired values in order for the exploding particles to have resistance and gravity. Finally, copy the empty 0 to emitter to create a ribbon particle that follows the exploding particles, and it deletes unnecessary parts like video. Since the ribbon particle should follow the empty 0 to emitter, create a generate location event on the empty 0 to emitter, and check requires persistent IDs to make empty 0 to emitter searchable. Go back to empty 0 3 emitter and put the location event of empty 0 to emitter in event handler properties. After that, enter the spawn number as one to have one ribbon particle follow each particle. And in initialize particle, set lifetime value and change sprite attributes to unset because it is a ribbon particle. And delete sprite renderer from render, create ribbon renderer and put m underscore glow. Return to initialize particle, change the ribbon width mode to direct set and set value. Now, if you place the Niagara on the level, you can see the final result. If you want to make multiple fireworks exploding, you can change the value of spawn burst instantaneous in the main empty emitter.